Hey, Poodles, Richard Ryder here with This Week on Out TV. Well, Mondays are becoming a big, huge drag on Out TV because it's the return of RuPaul's Drag Race. It's season six, don't you know? And in true RuPaul form, that panther on the runway has split her big opening in two. That's right, the season premiere is actually the pre-premiere. We're only gonna meet seven queens this week. Find out who sashays away, and then we do it all again next week. I'm so excited I could pee. Mother yeah. has arrived. Girl, oh, what? An alien? <laughs> I appeared on American Idol. I look like a lesbian Jonas brother. <laughs> this America's Next Top Model. Oh, I was starstruck. Oh, yes. work it yeah. yeah. But he knows how to do sex. Wow. Also on Monday, we've got another brand new episode of Lady Boy Season 2. And this week, we go behind the scenes of the Miss International Queen Transgender Beauty Contest. So you know there's going to be some surprises. So eyes up, eyes up, don't look there. Oh, God! Miss International Queen is the most celebrated transsexual beauty pageant in the world. The contestants must perform, parade, and provoke in their bid to be crowned the most beautiful transsexual in the world. And finally, on Monday, right after RuPaul's Drag Race, we've got another brand new episode of Wild Things. This week, the girls become security guards and have a scary night patrolling a feed yard. Feed yard was my drag queen in high school. Squeeze the trigger. Good. I hit it That's in the, the middle. Wow, yeah. Maria. You ready? All I need you to do is keep everything safe, secure, and make sure none of the cows get out. Are you going to leave us here by ourselves? You'll do just fine. On Tuesday's brand new episode of Men's Fashion Insider, Chris and Marcellus give us the latest fall winter collections from Thomas Blint, Philip Pline, and Port 1961. That was a good year. It was, of course, a lot of denim and a lot of crocodile and leather jackets, which are the signature style of the house. And I like, of course, that they use uh, very big, like, silhouettes. So it was a very masculine, very, very uh, sexy show, very aggressive. Also on Tuesday, we've got another brand new episode of Operation Vacation. This week, we meet Karen, who's dedicated her life to kitten rescue. But the group of volunteers she works with feels she needs to have a vacation. She's going to get one, and she gets to take her best friend. Then it's a cat. Karen's work is her life, but lately her colleagues and friends are beginning to worry about her. A decade without even a single day off it's starting to take its toll on her health. How do you think she's going to take the surprise? Maria's a little bit worried. <laughs> I'm worried she's going to faint. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Are you okay, ready? I'm ready. All right, pop your corn and ice your drinks, because OutTV's taking you to the movies. On Thursday night, we're watching To Each Her Own. This is a story about Jess, whose life and sexuality come into question after she meets Casey, a very openly gay woman. I know how she feels. Trevor's already painting the room, and I'm not even pregnant yet. Oh, you should be happy to have a husband so excited about having kids. So you've never had a relationship longer than a month? I had a really good time tonight. Me too. Where were you? It's none of your business. Damn right it's my business. I'm your husband. And finally, on Saturday, we're watching The Birdcage. This is the remake of the original French film that stars Nathan Lane and Robin Williams as a couple of gay cabaret owners who try and play it straight for their son's new in-laws. I'm getting married. What? It's out of the question. You can't get married, you're not even 18. But who is this boy, Barbie? <gasps> this is my mother. And before I go, I want to let you know that our Matrimony in Muskoka contest is over. Thanks to everyone who entered, and congratulations to our lucky couple who won. Also, if you're a drag queen or plan to be one, send us your before and after pics to theglamazonproject.tumblr.com. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next big thing. And I personally want to thank everyone who took part in the Pitbull Caribbean Cruise 2014. It made my week fabulous. To everyone, have a great week, and until next week, that was this week on OutTV. Toodles poodles.